Hi guys, it's Tomo and today I'm just going to show you um, some new hairstyles that I think you might know and some you won't really know. So let's get started. Okay, wait. So once you've taken out your hair, you just need to pull it back like that. Until this, if you've got a fringe like me, quite long, make sure that you pull it really back. And if you've got some of these, that's fine because you don't really need them. So just keep. Okay, so first thing that you'll need to do. So I'm just gonna. If you don't know, I am doing a halo braid. Um, and that's what it's called, unfortunately, I think. Yeah, it's called a halo braid. My hair is a different colour on the back. So, first, all you need to do is just brush it up. Just brush. Because most of the time, your, your hair that's at the back is always really tangly. Some of you guys are not. So, the first thing you need to do is just smooth it out. Then, plait it. Sorry about that, I'm just looking in the mirror. Um, I'm just going to plait it quite tightly because you don't want the plait to get come out. So, just keep on plaiting it until you're done. I'll just see you once I've done. Hi guys, I'm back. And now that I'm done, once you've done your plait, all you want to do is take a loom band. If you don't have one, just take a thin band then just tie it onto the end. Doesn't matter what colour, it's fine. If you have see-through, that's fine as well. Because see-throughs are really good as well. I couldn't plait mine anymore because I was taking so long. So then, once you've finished that, all you need to do is just take your hair all to the back, like that, or you can just hold it, like that, and then all you need to do is just basically just do that, so then you can see the plait, then you need to secure it. With some so once you've got that cut, then just clip the parts together. Then it just looks really nice. You can just keep it like that. Then you can just like kind of style it. And you can add like accessories just like over here. You can keep them like that. I kind of really like that because I think it looks quite cute. And that's a really simple hairstyle that you can do. And it's just fun. And if you're going on a date or anything like that, you can just make a really quick, easy plait, French, um, and you're ready to go. So, I'll show you the next one. Okay, so once you've taken the plait out from this part, now I'm just going to show you a very nice, simple, easy hairstyle to do. So, all you need to do is just take. If you don't have a fringe, then just take some of the the back part of here and then just do that. That's how you're going to get a bigger poof on your head. So, I, I've just got a really normal fringe. And then, so all I do is just take my comb and just, no not comb, my hairbrush. And I just brush it down over. 
not too many times. Okay, I know it looks so creepy right now, but so then once you've finished, it should kind of look like this. Wait, no, not like that. I mean, yeah. sorry guys, don't copy what I'm doing now. Instead, I'm going to do a different one. So, I'm just going to do side pony, okay, with, like, a new crystal bow, not a, not a French grey, just kind of a new style of mine that I made up. So, all you need to do is just take all the hair and just put it behind your ear, make sure that your ears, your ears are showing. Then just take your hair and then just take it to the side, take all your hair to the side. Then, then just kind of just, just tie it there. Just tie it. Okay, just tie it. So once you've done tying it, no, it should look like that in the air, not like down, because you want to take two sections like that and just pull, then keep the two sections together, then just keep on pulling until it's really tight. So then just like kind of, no, take, wait, let me start from the beginning. So take two sections, take the one nearest to your face over the, over the, the one out to near your face. So just do that. And then just swap hands. And then just keep on doing that. It's really easy. It's a really nice combination. So then if you like, then just add a little twist to the end, because then it just keeps really to stay together. Yeah, so that's, okay. Next step is to take a loom band and just tie it tightly. If you can't tie it anymore. And take a hair tie and just tie it as well because you want your hair to be nice and tight you don't want it to be like oh don't get anything like that so make sure that it's nice and tight there it is you can it does really loosen up you just want to kind of like that so it's just perfect for school and it won't really turn out how you really want it to. I'll just leave it like this one. For the rest of the day. Ouch, God, God, God. Ouch. So that's the second hairstyle. So you just want to keep the keep the side pony. Then all you want to do is just take um four no, two two sections of your hair then take this is it gonna be a French this is gonna be a French plait so just take some from the outside nearest to your face then just pop it in the middle then take some from the other side and then pop it into the middle and then just keep on continue doing it. And then I'll show you when I come back. Bye Actually, don't do that because then your hairstyle will just get ruined. So, so I do have a hair donut. So, if you do, then just take it and then put it to the side. Yeah, and it's going to be really awkward. So then, just turn to the side and just put your hair all over the the bun. Now you won't be able to see my face. 
I'll show you when I come back. So this is how it should look like and make sure once you've put the put the hair tie down, make sure to wrap the hair around and around until it's done and done. Just clip it like the at the back. And that's all for today. Bye guys.